Welcome to F260 week 11, Deuteronomy 3 and 4, <clears throat> entitled Romans 12, 9 to 21. Highlight verse Deuteronomy 440. You shall keep therefore his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee this day, that it might go well with thee and with thy children after thee, and that thou mayest prolong thy days on the earth, which the Lord thy God giveth thee forever. Explaining this, there are many benefits to obeying God's commandments. Two of them are listed here. Life will bode well for us and our progeny, and it will be a long life. Applying this, in week 10, Leviticus 3, I expounded on the on obedience in general, but did not get into the particulars of the do's and don'ts. Uh, today, we will examine some of the do's and don'ts of obedience that is enjoined by God's word as set forth in the J.B. Phillips New Testament versions, Romans, 12, uh, chap Romans chapter 12, verses 9 to 21, which says... Let us have no imitation Christian love. Let us have a genuine break with evil and a real devotion for good. Let us have a real warm affection for one another as between brothers and a willingness to let other men have the credit. Let us allow slackness to, let us not allow snackness to spoil our work. And let us keep the fires of the Spirit burning as we do our work for God. Base your happiness on the hope in Christ. When trials come, endure them patiently, steadfastly, maintain the habit of prayer. <clears throat> Give freely to fellow Christians in want, never grudging a meal or a, or a bed to those who need them. And as for those who try to make your life a misery, bless them. Don't curse, bless. Share the happiness of those who are happy, the sorrow of those who are sad. Live in harmony with each other. Uh, don't become snobbish, but take a real interest in ordinary people. Don't become set in your own opinions. Don't pay back a bad turn by a bad turn to anyone. Don't say it doesn't matter what people think, but see that your public behavior is above criticism. As far as your responsibility goes, live at peace with everyone. <clears throat> Never take vengeance into your own hands. My dear friends, stand back and let God punish if he will. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay. These are God's words. Therefore, if your enemy hungers, feed him. If he thirsts, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire upon his head. Don't allow yourself to be overpowered with evil. Take the offensive, overpower evil by good. My response, I am tacking Romans chapter 12, verses 9 to 12. On the wall of my, com on the wall by my computer as a reminder and daily checklist for my Christian walk. Amen. God bless.